franktalks.com Need help with love, sex, dating and relationships? Visit franktalks.com Hello, welcome to Frank Advice. I'm Frank Kermit. On this a new series that I'm trying here I'm going to be answering some dating and relationship questions so if you're interested in having me answer some of your questions leave your questions at the bottom in the comment section I will eventually set up a newsletter for you to sign up and email me questions in private that way why don't we go to our first question here uh, it's from a woman aged 23 from Australia named Ob girl Obby okay Obby let's see what you got um, so let me get right to the point. I'm dating my step uncle, so my mother's step mom's son. Mother's step mom's son, okay. So definitely not blood related, all right. He is married, not separated, though, like typical situations, is going to get a divorce and leave her, etc. Never looked at him in that light at all, but about a while ago, we really got talking online and started hanging out together, just the two of us. And we connected on so many levels. It's gotten to the point of insensibility, and we're pretty much crazy for each other. I have an abnormally large conscience, so I have a constant battle in my head about the whole situation, having nightmares about it all. But I won't stop seeing him. I don't think I can. I am pleading for advice, and I'm not even sure exactly what kind of advice I'm after. Even just if there's someone out there going through something similar to give some advice on how to stop things blowing up in everyone's faces. I'm a little messed up. Abby. Oh, Abby. Okay, first thing you need to know. We've all been there. Chances are every single one of us out there has dated somebody that we probably should not have been dating. This is a classic example. You're dating somebody who is married. Now, if this was an open relationship, if they had an open marriage, then that would be a different story altogether. But you're dating someone who is in the process of possibly ending his marriage. So that's the first red flag. The other issue here is that blood related or not you're still related in the same family you're still gonna see this person at weddings and funerals and various birthday parties I think you really really need to consider the consequences here you're asking your question is how do I stop things from blowing up in everyone's faces uh, well you can't unless you stop all contact and that's going to be my advice to you I think you need to stop all contact with this person not just uh, you know not just thing uh, well we can still be friends no I need you to stop all contact with this person because it's not just about you anymore and you don't mention if he has kids with his wife but their primary concern here and that's my concern for this whole situation there are kids here who are going to grow up and find out and they're going to learn from your example that you can't even trust family and that's not a message we should be sending to kids and I think you would agree with that I think on some level you know that what you're doing here is not in your best interest but if you're going to say that you won't stop seeing him or you refuse to stop seeing him it makes it kind of difficult to stop things from blowing up everybody's faces. The other thing I want to point out is that you mentioned that you're having nightmares. Look, if you're having nightmares about this, then you have to know that's the sign, okay? That's the sign that you know on some level you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. The other thing I want to point out is you're saying here um, he's planning to uh, get a divorce, he's planning to leave her. As his mistress, and I want to make things clear, you're not his girlfriend. This is not an open relationship where his wife is totally cool with him dating and having a girlfriend. You are his mistress, and as his mistress, there is no way that you know everything that's going on in that relationship. It's just not possible. There's no motivation for him to share everything that's going on. 
He's going to tell you exactly what is in his best interest to share with you. When a man or a woman is looking to leave a relationship, they're going to leave whether or not they have someone else lined up. When somebody wants out, they're going to take the out whether or not there's someone else there waiting for them. This has nothing to do with you. So if he tries to say something like, well, I would leave, but I want to make sure that you're going to be there when I leave, and it doesn't work that way. Here's my main concern for you, and I'm not even worried right now that your family is going to disown you when this comes to uh, public attention. And if you continue acting this way, at some point it's likely to happen. The, my main concern for you, and this is something I see in my practice of coaching, the longer that you spend in this kind of dynamic of being with somebody who is emotionally unavailable, the longer you continue to be a mistress, the more it's going to become a repeating behavior pattern for you. And it's going to be a lot harder when you finally end this, and I'm hoping you end this now. But if you don't, the likelihood of the two of you ending up together is very slim. The likelihood that your family will disown you and, and it will cause ripple effect to, that it's going to really damage your opportunities to meet new people in the future. That is very high. It's not worth it. Okay, you're a young girl. If you make the mistake of wasting the next five years on this guy, I got news for you. It's going to be even harder to get over him the longer you stay with him. And by the time you heal, you'll be what, 30? It gets even more difficult to find a life partner at that point. Not just because your history now is one where you've been the mistress for so long, but the repeating behavior pattern of being with someone who is emotionally unavailable to you. That's the problem. That's the real culprit here. You need to break this behavior pattern now before it becomes fully entrenched. Because once it's fully entrenched, you're just beginning a pattern that's going to continue on and on. And what ends up happening to women who consistently date married men? Chances are very high that at some point you end up alone. And I don't think that's why you got into this to begin with. We've all been there, okay? We've all dated someone that we shouldn't have dated, myself included, okay? I'm just as guilty as anybody else. I've made that mistake too. But I made it a point to learn from that mistake so that it doesn't affect the outcome of my future. And I'm hoping you do the same. Please take this seriously. Thank you very much for sharing your question. And for all of you out there, if you're having a dating dilemma of any kind, that means that it's time to get frank. Take care, everybody.